Hey, what's up, people? Veskizy here, coming at you for another round. And today I'm playing the game You're Watching the Icebox. This is a uh, old school point and click adventure type game in the same vein as the uh, the old school LucasArts games, which happen to be a favorite of mine, particularly Day of the Tentacle. That and the Indiana Jones, The Fate of Atlantis. Used to love those games. Uh, it took a while to beat them. Um, I actually ended up having to look up a guide online. It's kind of cheating, but you know, I was a kid, so it was different. Cut me some slack. But yeah, this looks to be in the similar vein. It's uh, much shorter. It's an indie game uh, from Game Jolt. And I'll leave a link in the description in case you want to check it out. But yeah, it's uh, fully voice acted. So I figured I'd check it out, see what's up. Not the typical type of games I play on this channel, but uh, I saw this on another channel, Alpha Beta Gamer. Check his channel out if you haven't seen it. And uh, it looked pretty interesting, so I figured, what the hell, I'll take a look. So hey, with that being said, it's space nice and built. Let's get to it, people. It's Blast Off time. Welcome back. I'm Bernie okay. Plunkett, right? And you're watching Icebox, the coolest show on the box. Next up, right, we've got a real-life zoologist, yeah? And later, right, we'll check out the zany antics of German techno outfit, Nihilist de Barn. But first, let's take a look at what's hot in the clubs of Frankfurt. Roll clip, and we're out. Uh, it's a producer, gee. by the way. Oh, jeez, I was holding that the whole time. You could tell, couldn't you? It was fine, but can you stop sweating so much? These lights are killing me. Where's Nigel with my nose spray? Plunkett! Oh, jeez. This show is a shambles. Ratings are through the floor. Kids don't want to watch a washed-up comedian twice their age pretend he's one of them. We need quality content, popular guests, and a decent host. Decent! That's today's ice cool word, which means it's... Time to cool off! That's... It. If this airing isn't flawless, you're out on your ass. But think I'm joking? You, what do you do? Um, junior lighting tech. You're fired. It's an unpaid internship. What about you? Me? Uh, uh, assistant stage manager. Get out. But my 12 All children. of you, get out. Not you, idiot. Anyone not hosting, producing, or filming this show is fired. And you, one mistake, one cock-up, one slight off-script ad-lib, and you're through. No pressure. I appreciate that. Back in three, two... Uh, welcome back. Well, come on, talk to the guest. And get that fire out, somehow. With fire. Oh, there's a fire. Cool. That curtain's really going up. Do something. I should. So this is typical point-and-click style. I like it. Quit screwing around. Let's okay. see what bodacious prizes we have in the icebox, uh, icebox today. We've got... Like the way he walks. Icy Girl, sure. the Blizz new single from Freezer. Official icebox leg warmers. Radical. And a fire extinguisher. That's lucky. Hey. Well, there you go. It's that easy, huh? Oi, good looking. Go and introduce me to the folks at home. Uh, of course. Can I just... My fuzzy friend's getting antsy. And this vulture's not half heavy. Oh, ho, ho. Ooh, okay. It's not cool. Our first yeah, guest today go. works with all Let's do the manner of awesome animals. She's as radical as a raccoon and as cool as, um. Oh, here we go. A sea cucumber, leftover chicken keeve. A crocodile? A sea cucumber. Welcome to the ice box, Dr. Cockbomb. It's pronounced cockbottom, love. Cockbottom? Cock. Cock. Enough of that. Ask a question. Okay, then. So, Dr. Cockbum, who's your friend? How about you tell us about zoology for a while? Well, let's go so, this one. Dr. Cockbum, who's your friend? Call me Fanny Love, and her name's Ivana. Ivana, Ivana sit on your face. 
It's Hungarian, I think. Yeah. Uh, what kind of bird Not is cool. she? She's a murder death vulture. Wow, scary man. Wouldn't want to meet one of them when I'm out clubbing. Oh no, she's playful as a kitten. Sure, she'll crack open your skull and burrow that beak of hers into your brainstem given half a chance. But she has such a soft plumage. Cool. Okay, uh, let's go with, uh... But, uh, Ivana's quite safe, yeah? Oh, goodness, no. Especially around loud noises and bright lights. Right. Uh, good to hear. But if it comes to it, I can stick her head in a bag. Sends her right to sleep. Well, there you go. Bought anything else to show us hip young people? Course, love. A bucket? Bucket of snakes, that's what. Those snakes, right? They're not poisonous, yeah? Only, they don't seem very secure in that bucket. Oh, goodness me, no. Not poisonous at all. Thank Christ. They're venomous. If they were poisonous, they could only hurt you if you ate them. Now, call me old-fashioned, but if I'm going to put something long She's and slender in my mouth, it's not going to be a snake, if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Moving on. How about you tell us kids about zoology? For a while. You got it. So, I was doing this baboon operation, right? And in walks the hunkiest piece of ours. Sorry about that. Good thinking. While she's waffling a camera, sort out that fire. Keep going, right? It's all very interesting. I really do like the, uh... It's a bucket of snakes, all right. style they got. We're losing view. I really wouldn't recommend. All right, let's see. Can I go Get back on set. Okay, to the fire. That curtain's really going up. Do something. Leave George alone and get on with it. Is this meant to... Hmm. Oh, yeah. I've already got it in my inventory. I totally forgot Here that. Here goes nothing. What on earth? <laughs> Would you look at that? Novelty fire extinguisher. Fires a hilarious burst of confetti. Warning, contents highly flammable. Ugh, get something else. Huh. Well, that was stupid. Got some. Reminds me of my wedding. Only a lot less weeping. Okay. Uh-oh. What now? Security's been fired along with everyone else. And some guy just barged onto set. Reginald D. Plunkett? Little busy here, buddy. You're a hard man to get hold of. Yes. Well, Mr. Pittsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth. I've sent you multiple letters on behalf of your wife. My... my wife? I'm here to serve your divorce papers. Well, that's yeah. not cool. You need to sign. I'm not leaving until you do. Oh, nice one, Reg. Okay, so what do we got here? I guess right. we'll talk to this guy. Um, <laughs> yes, great joke there, friend. Hey, all you dudes and dudettes out there. We have a surprise guest. Allow me to introduce, right, the uh, uh, esteemed comic lawyer, Mr. Bartholomew Titsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth. Oh, touched Trigger. the nerve there, didn't we? Well, okay, so young adults, let's talk law, right, with our friend here, the lawyer. Okay, so let's go with, um... Mm. So, us young people want to know, right, what's hot, yeah, in law right now? Well, ahem, <clears throat> family law, my speciality, certainly is a fascinating topic. This case I'm working on now, for instance. Yours, that is. The husband had shared the marital bed with four other women. Uh... And a proboscis monkey. Well... His wife wouldn't have known a thing, of course, if he hadn't filmed the whole escapade and accidentally mailed it to her mother. Could happen to anybody. Sure. Okay, how about quit following me? Yeah. Let's go with... Hmm... 
How about you quit following me, yeah? Well, once you sign and return the letter, I shall. I don't sign anything without my lawyer present. I am your lawyer, Mr. Plunkett, unless you've contracted another since your wife filed. Right, well... It's hard to find the time, yeah? Anything you need help with in the document, just show it to me. Okay, let's show him the document. So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain, right, to us young adults, right? Article 2, paragraph 1. In so much as both parties... Parties? How good a prize, right? The parties in this case, Mr. Plunkett, being yourself and your estranged wife. Oof, that's no party I'd want to be at. Alright, so, what else we got? Miss, can you explain... Let's see. Termination shall be granted hereby... Article 3, paragraph 4. Termination shall be granted hereby. Your wife is divorcing you, Mr. Plunkett. Do I have to make it any clearer? So, One can more. you explain? Your wife is divorced. Do I have to? So, can you explain, right? Article three. Your wife. Do I oh, have? Oh, is that it? Is that all I got? Okay, then let's. Uh... Is there anything else I can do? Nice vault. Isn't she a darling? Skin your arms and flesh if you get close, of course. Right. What else do I have in my inventory? Oh, can I take this bucket of snakes now? I really wouldn't recommend touching the teetering bucket of deadly snakes. That's not helping. I really... Hmm. Oh, and then I says, I'd like to get in your trunks. <laughs> oh, yes, dearie. Go. Okay, she's got nothing else to say. So I'm pretty sure. Quit screwing around. This is really getting out of. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, young. I oh, let's go with. What was that name again? A bomb poo shitsworth. Bartholomew Pittsworth! Oh, hey, I think I see what I gotta do. What was that name? Your ma dropped you at birth. Bartholomew Pittsworth! See the bucket? The bucket's doing a thing. What was that name again? Your pants, you were spitzgurf. Bartholomew! Oh, Jesus! Well, there you go. That's a lot of snakes. That really didn't help things. That fire's not getting any better either. Just get the band to play us out. They're backstage waiting. Can I pick up the bucket? Yeah, yeah, I got a bucket. Cool. Uh, backstage. Huh. You're on, boys. Yeah. Okay. Music, yeah. Yeah. Now, to play us out from the clubs of Frankfurt, Nihilista Bond! Sweet machines. Roll credits in three, two... Halt! You lie. Stop the music! You go. What? No! Nine? Reverse dance? Let's see what's up. What's the problem? What is the problem? There is a moose. So, we do not play with moose. And where is our confetti? Quite right, Gunther. We do not play without confetti. Without confetti? It is not art. There's some confetti on the floor over there. That confetti does not excite. Nine. Nine. It must to be being held by Gunta. Okay, so get rid of that moose head and get them some confetti. We need them to play us out. And another obstacle. Typical point-and-click fashion. You, know, you solve one puzzle, and you get several more. So let's see. Who should I talk to? Got a bucket. 
wants to do do, 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 do. talk to this guy how'd you like a chance to win big on the wheel of cool oh boy you yes you could be the lucky winner of uh... See, and expensive. all expenses paid to her of the Beddington Sewage Farm. Sounds exciting. Here goes. Congratulations, you've won. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. An empty bucket of snakes. Oh, boy. What about you guys? What do you got to say? Can you play now? Not with that moose eyeing us. We will not perform for the moose. Without confetti, there is no art. The colored dots represent man's inhumanity to colored dots. All right, all right. Okay, let's give them confetti. They want confetti, right. there you go. Right, Nihilist Barn, on behalf of Icebox, I'd like to present you with this handful of confetti. What is this? Oh, nine. Oh, come on. Why not? This confetti is exposed. Colors visible to all the world? Confetti should be kept hidden in darkness. Such is the way. Just as there is vibrance, as there is love. So the world hides it beneath anguish. Whoa. Melancholy. For our art, we need confetti dejected in a pouch of black disquiet. Obviously. 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 So let's see, what do you got to say? Da, 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 da. How about you quit following me, yeah? Well, once you saw anything you need help with in the door. Okay, nothing new there. Let's see if I can... So, Mr. Lawman, can you explain, right, to us young adults, right? Let's go with... Article 5, Paragraph 7, with respect to common decency. It merely states, Mr. Plunkett, that when in the presence of your wife, her parents, co-workers, grandmother, and young niece, you, for a change, remain decent. Well, hey, that's our ice cool word of the day. So it's time to cool off. Oh, if you think this will get me to leave, stuff. sir, you are gravely mistaken. I see what we're doing now. How's about a wheel? Oh, you, yes, you, could be the lucky winner of a French cooking lesson from renowned dumpster diver Toothless Paul. It's renowned. Only one prize per contestant, I'm afraid. You'll have to give your previous prize back. Well, okay. Here goes. Congratulations! You've won! I think... Let's go with... A riveting article of statutory documentation. Oh, boy! Just gave him the, the papers he served me with. Clever. Very clever. Hey, laddies and lasses, let's do a groovy experiment. We're going to see, right, if our icebox slime is flammable. See? I know how to do point and clickies. Got this down pat, baby. Okay, so now... I think you need something smaller to hold the confetti. Hmm... Hmm. Didn't she have like a pouch? And then I says, there's a member of your speech. Oh, yes, dearie. Say you were suddenly surrounded by a lot of snakes. Oh, that's an easy one. I use me snake spray. Oh, yeah. I know how to handle me serpents, if you get my meaning. Don't have some handy. Sure, love. Here you go. Alright, but I gotta be able to give him confetti. That hood is not good television. See if you can remove it.
Uh, your vulture, right, seems to have taken flight, yeah? She'll get tired of circling in a few hours. Unless she sees some nearly dead animal to carry off. Okay, got a hood. Yeah, that hood can make a little bag for confetti. Right, now, Mr. Barn, on behalf of Icebox, I present you with this confetti, right? Deject, right, in a pouch of black disquiet, yeah? Ah, just the stuff. And now I give them this. Don't pester them with random things. Just get them to play. Okay. All right, boys. You got your confetti. Can you play oh, wait, now? The moose. I not with that the moose. moose. Give it not All right. Get rid of that damn thing. That's done it. Cool. All right, boys, that moose's caboose is too loose, right? And you got right, you can fit it, yeah? Yeah, good. Without further ado, right? Give it up for the techno stylings of Nihilus de Barn. Nine. Nine? Nine? I'll give you nine, you colossal kraut wankers. Nine of these right up your bony Teutonic asses. Your blood pressure, Reg. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little joke there, kids. My friends here were about to explain what could possibly be wrong now. You know, besides the massive raids in fire, relentless divorce lawyer, and literal circling vulture. Well, there is the snakes. We do not tolerate snakes on the dance floor. Snakes and Germans and dance floors are not making good companions. Snakes with the biting. Snakes with the venoming. Snakes with the slithery dancing. Assurance must be made. Snakes and Germans must not meet on dancing floor. Right! That's actually pretty fair enough. Well, you got me there. Luckily, I've yeah, already got that taken care of. Should satisfy him. Okay, young people, let's put Dr. Cockbottom's snake repellent to the test. Oh, my eyes! Snake repellent? Why would you want to repel snakes? What? If there's snakes around, I use my spray to get nice and cuddly with them. How do you think I filled my bucket? The serpents are distracted. Acceptable. Now we dance. Quick, sign us off! You be watching! No! Ice Fox! The coolers! Hey, hey! So on the box! I'm Reggie Puckett! You're lying! Say it! Stay cool! Mere illusions! Roll credits! Work, you strive to your surprise of purpose. Okay. Hey, we did a thing, Icebox. Pretty short game, but uh, it's kind of funny. Not bad. There's always a little job. Good news. Ratings are through the roof. I've just approved five more seasons. There you Whatever go. Whatever you did, keep doing it. <laughs> okay, so that was your washing ice box. Eh, pretty funny game. Not bad. I enjoyed it. Very short, very, very, very short. But uh, for what it was, it wasn't bad. You know, um, hopefully we'll see more from this developer, um, Power Hoof, the name. Uh, like I said, I'll leave a link in the description for you to check it out. Definitely support his or her content. So we'll see more stuff like this in the future. Uh, yeah, it was pretty good. But yeah, like I said, really enjoyed this type of point-and-click adventures, but uh, you don't get a lot of them these day and age, so when you do, hey, I like to like to see what's up. So hey, if you like this video, please hit that like button, please subscribe for more content, and I'll see you next time. Until the next episode, have a good one.